everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new don't forget to subscribe if you're already subscribed welcome back in this video I'm gonna show you what the 23andMe DNA testing kit is like what it looks like how to do the test and then I'll do a separate video on my actual results for Christmas my husband bought me the 23andMe DNA test kit and this is what it looks like so it comes in a box like this and you can write a personalized message and he just said Merry Christmas I love you so I'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like and how to do the test so I'm actually going to do it with you so I, I wanted to film this because I, it might be of interest to you and it might be something that you may want to do in the future um, I am absolutely I am just very passionate about health and you know looking back in the past looking at ancestry finding out about my grandparents my great grandparents and just the whole family tree and so he knew that and that's why he got me this for Christmas so this is what the box looks like once you open it up so as you can see it has the 23 and me welcome to you uh, so this is a saliva collection kit so what you have in here is you're going to I'm going to be giving a saliva sample and then sending it back to the lab and they're gonna send me back a report which I'll again like I said I'll do a separate video on kit that I got you can get two separate kits you can get one where it's just the ancestry service so it looks at your ancestry and then you have one that is health and ancestry so that's the one that I got so for me to get the results it usually takes anywhere between six to eight weeks for me to get the report back so I'll be doing an update video in that time frame what I will be learning about I'm gonna just read it off the website here so um, I'm gonna be learning about my genetic health risk report so I'll be getting a genet a genetic health risk report so I'll learn how genetics can influence my risk for certain diseases uh, ancestry so discover where your DNA is from out of 31 populations worldwide so I'll be able to see what what is in my DNA. So also get re wellness reports, learn how your genes play a role in your well-being and lifestyle choices. Uh, a carrier status report, if you are starting a family, find out if you are a carrier for inherited condition that could affect your children. And then the traits report, learn how your DNA influences your facial features, taste, smell, and other traits. So. I am I'm really curious to see what comes up on my reports I know some people don't want to do it because they don't want to find out any possible health issues or health risks that sort of thing but I just absolutely love learning about this and so I'm very very excited to get the results and see what actually shows up on these reports so you get five different categories with the one that I have this is what comes in the box so you get this green card and it says hi let's get started uh, and then you have the actual kit itself here which I'll open up and show you so the first thing you want to do when you get your 23andMe kit is you want to open this green card and what it says is we are excited for you for you to begin this journey and we want you to know we are here to help whether it's questions about our service or how to get started, we have resources available. So they leave their phone number and website in case you have trouble. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to register your kit. So before you open anything else, you want to go to 23andme.ca slash start. Um, then you're gonna go through some steps and some questions and then at the end it took me about two to three minutes It didn't take very long, but at the end you're gonna get a 14 digit barcode and you, it's really important To write this 14 digit on the back of this green card. So I did that already um, And I wrote down the code on the back So I have my kit registered and you'll get an email confirmation saying that your kit has been registered and you're now ready to start doing the sample testing so um, okay so register the kit so again it just kind of reminds you to make sure you don't forget that you can't have any food or drinks 30 minutes 
prior to doing the test. So if you had a snack or if you had a meal or even water or anything, you can have that 30 minutes before doing the test. What, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and I'll show you. So here's the empty box and this is what the testing kit looks like. So it's not very big. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spit to the fill line in here, which I'll demonstrate. Then I'm going to close the funnel, detach the funnel, seal it in the bag, and then ship it back. So let me open this up to show you what you actually get in your testing kit. So again, these are just the registration instructions again. Really important to do that before you start. Now what you have in here is you have the plastic container where you're actually going to be spinning your saliva. And you want to, so let me open this up actually. There's like a little, there's a little funnel in here. So after you spit, it will slowly come down to the bottom of the testing kit. So this is the fill line. So you want to leave this much saliva in the testing kit. So about half an inch of saliva. So you really want to make sure that you have it, you're really accumulating it in your mouth and you're spitting. So, so this is what comes with the kit. Then you have your, your lid. So there's a lid that you're going to screw back on. And then you also have this bag here. So biospecimen bag. So what we're going to do after we perform the test, you're going to place the tube with small cap in the bag, peel off blue liner and seal by pressing down on the blue line. So it even shows you an image. You don't want to put the test, the testing kit the way it is already. You want to take the main cap off and put the lid on so it looks like this. And then all you're going to do is you're going to put it in here and seal it. I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to do the actual test. Okay, so now I'm actually going to do the test. So here we go. So I'm going to leave this much saliva. So I filled the saliva to this line. Next, all you're going to do is you're going to take the cap and you're going to press it down. And you're going to see that the there's going to be some liquid that's going to kind of go in with the saliva. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you saw that, but there was a bit of liquid at the top of the cap. And what happens is when you close it, it all comes in and mixes in with your saliva. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece of the cap off. So you're going to take this out and then the kit comes with another cap which you're going to screw on like this. Make sure it's nice and tight, okay? Next, then you're going to take the bag that comes with the kit and place the tube with small cap in the bag. So you're going to place this in the bag like this. Peel off blue liner and seal by pressing down on blue line. So next we're going to take the blue seal off and all you're going to do is you're going to simply seal it so it's nice and sealed. Then you're going to take the box that the then you're going to take the box that the kit came with and you'll see on the back it already has a pre um, made sticker to send back in the mail so you don't have to pay for shipping or anything. You're going to place your saliva kit in back in the box. You're going to close close the box. Now you'll see at the end here there's a another sticker that you want to peel off to make sure that the box is sealed when you send it back out. So I'm going to take this sticker off 
and make sure those flaps are in and all you're going to do is oops make sure the both flaps are in and then just seal it and there you go and that's it and all you're going to do is you're going to put this in the mailbox now what you're going to do is you want to make sure that you put your name and address on the back of the box uh, and also you want to take a photo of this number because that will be your tracking number and that's it all I'm going to do is I'm gonna wait six to eight weeks and I should be getting a report back um, with everything that I talked about and I will definitely have a separate video to share what the final results were Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have done the 23andMe DNA test kit, please share your comments below. Let me know what you thought of it. Um, even if you, if, if you did it and you got your results, what did you think of your results? What did you think of the whole process? Was it worth it? If you haven't tried it and you have any other questions, leave a comment below. I love reading and responding to your comments. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.